Well, good Monday morning, everybody. Um, you know, I, in starting today, I want to go back to my childhood and I want to talk about an experience I had when I was learning how to drive. My dad was teaching me how to drive and I had a problem when I initially was learning how to drive um, that I, I was really distracted by the cars on the side of the road. Um, I always felt like I was going to hit them and I felt like I had to be looking at them all the time to keep from hitting those cars. I always felt like they were right next to me and, and I'd end up swerving back and forth in the lane and my dad didn't understand and so I explained it to him and he said, look, you need to focus on the distance. You need to focus on what's in front of you and then you will stay in the lane, disregard those cars, you won't hit them and you'll stay straight in the lane. And of course, I did that and over the years I discovered that that was right and it worked very well. We've been looking at these keys to keep your eyes on the prize. The first key was to believe, to live a life that uh, exemplifies what we believe. The second key was to remember our hope, to live for what we have already attained in Christ, but we have yet to receive in the future. The third key is to focus on the distance, not on the distractions around you, but on what lies ahead. In Philippians 3, 17 through 19, Paul says this, Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you uh, have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. For as I have often told you before and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomachs, and their glory is their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. He said, focus on the example of others who are models. Focus on those who are also heading for that goal in the distance. You know, um, the Olympics are coming up and I know one of the things I watch in the Olympics sometimes is the cycling. I know there are other cycling races, but that's when I usually watch it. And one thing I've, I've thought is interesting in cycling is that um, they work as a team. There's three or four team members on each, in each race from the same country and what they do is they draft each other. In other words, someone will take the lead for a while and the other people on the team will draft behind them. They will go and they will gain strength and have a little easier time because the other person is doing all the work in the front. Well, Paul is saying that those who have not done this spiritually have lost their ways. Those who have not followed the example of others and have not drafted behind them, have lost their ways. They've focused on their stomachs, their desires, their glory in this world, and they have ended up in a bad place. He says their mindset is on earthly things. Their focus is on this world, and they are so distracted, as, as I was with the cars on the side of the road, that he says they are destined to crash and burn. You know, there are many distractions in this world that threaten to take our eyes off the goal. Things that seem important and critical, significant and even urgent in the heat of the moment. And they are things that we need to attend to. We don't ignore the cars on the side of the road. It's not like they don't exist. They're there and we need to deal with them. But we believe that we have eternal life in Christ. And if we remember our hope in his promise, then our focus will be drawn to the distance, away from the distractions on the side of the road and towards what we hope to attain. Earlier we read in Philippians 3, 13 through 14, he says, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal, to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Jesus Christ. We must keep our focus on the goal. We must keep our eyes on the prize, forgetting the sins and failures of yesterday. You know. There, there's many things I can regret about my life from yesterday, but I know that God has forgiven me and I can look forward. Ignoring the temptations and passions of this world, the things that are drawing me away from Jesus, and pressing on toward the goal for the glory of God. You know, think about it. What are the temptations that strangle out the good desires of your heart to live what you believe? Thinking about this theme and these keys we've talked about, what are those temptations? What distractions keep you from remembering to maintain a dynamic and daily communion with the Lord? What factors cause you to lose your focus and take your eyes 
off the goal. Folks, I would encourage you to believe, to remember, and to focus. And when the race is over, when the master comes home, you will wear the victor's crown. You will hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. And you will receive the prize of surpassing value that you hope for, eternal life in Jesus Christ. May God give you a meaningful time in meditation and prayer today. God bless you.